and travels the speed of light that help us to see in the past. These things we use to make them. Oh, wait. Oh, if you can travel the speed of light. Uh, okay. No, actually. So here's the problem. You probably realize that when traveling faster and faster towards the speed of light, you kind of time travel towards the future. Not because you are actually moving in the time dimension, but because, well, you are moving in the time dimension, but not faster than others. It's because your time is now going slower than the time of everybody around you. Unfortunately, you can't do the same thing in reverse. There is no such thing as time contraction, which is very sad. There is no way to make your time go faster than another person's time. Because the gamma factor which dictates uh, which dictates how exactly your time relates to the time of people around you cannot ever be less than one. So that's essentially the big problem. Because you cannot make your time go faster than other people's time, because the gamma factor is limited to be greater than or equal to one, you cannot ever time travel to the past in light speed, which is kind of sad, but it's unfortunately a restriction. No point. Thank you.